part three of the recycled polytunnel build. So I had a bit of an idea of how we're going to deal with the edges of the pallets, where the plastic's going to go over. And I was a little bit concerned it was going to start rubbing and maybe tear the plastic. Now obviously all the sharp bits from the braces, any screws or anything like that, we can actually hammer in and clear all that and cover it with a little piece of foam. But I thought maybe the corners and all the edges would be an issue for any plastic we put over the top. So we have got a lot of hessian, as I've said before. So what I'm thinking of doing is stapling along the edges so it gives it I'm hoping that this actually works because there's no power down here so we can't bring the electric sander and and oh, I don't want to hand sand it all there is parts that we are gonna to have to hand sand but the least amount that we do the better for me Today, we're going to get the plastic on the polytunnel. We've prepped all the surfaces, made sure that there was no major snagging points, made sure all screws and pieces of metal that could be sticking out have been covered. So far, we've managed to pin the cover on each side. You can already see the condensation building up inside it already. And we are just working our way around the door frame. Try to keep the creases as tidy as possible. Not a professional job, but I think that's not too bad so far. Could have got it a little bit tighter, but it's very hard with just two people. So afraid of tearing it, even though it's actually quite strong plastic.
the door is now cut out. Try to do it as with little amount of creases as possible. Easier said than done. Already got condensation. Oh, it's so much warmer in here. Just got the back end, which will be interesting. So this end is a complete bore lake because obviously all the excess they've got the window back in we just need to cut the plastic back out but this lot who thought this was going to be a good idea I want to try and tidy it up as much as I can luckily we're not going for first prize in looks just functionality. <sighs> I'm tired and I'm hungry and I've had enough. certainly wasn't an easy task. Lots of excess plastic which we've tidied up. I've kind of give up the will to live at the moment. Window frame is in. 
old fridge door from an old bar fridge. We put extra pieces of wood on to try and keep the plastic in place as much as possible because it is a little bit more flappier on this side. Eventually they'll get painted. Yes, we probably could have done with getting it tighter, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Just, just got to cover the door. and tidy up the inside. Now it's quite light in here considering the sun is behind cloud at the moment and a massive difference in temperature in here compared to outside already. So we've even got our hooks in to put our tomato strings on and obviously we can open the window and leave the front door open if we need to through the growing season. Got plenty of room for our tomatoes and basils and I think chilli plants. I think the chilli plants are going to go down the middle. We've still got to wood chip the paths and we've still got to fill the raised beds which will be treated as no dig. So I'm hoping it's all going to get finished over the next couple of days. I'm quite happy with that. Doesn't look too bad from the outside either, which is good. Now we've just got tons of excess plastic to deal with. I think I might make some cold frames and stretch the plastic over some poles. This bed right outside the new polytunnel, where I've still got to take that Carl Roby out, this will be outdoor tomatoes. I've just put hessian over to protect the soil a little bit while we're working around here. All the edges of the plastic will be covered by wood chip and hidden. It's not a bad build considering, apart from the plastic, everything else is pretty much recycled. Oh, and the wooden battens on the inside for the framework. We had to buy those. Everything else, all the pieces of wood on the outside, is all old pallets taken apart. 